Novak, you've just played one of the best young players on tour and, and you handled him quite easily tonight. At what point in the match did you know that you had your best stuff? Well, uh, you know, I tried to focus from the start, obviously. I know that he has nothing to lose. He's going to come out and, and uh, hit big serves as he did. But, uh, you know, I managed to make uh, very important uh, breaks at the start of the match. And when I was set up after, you know, 25 minutes was... Uh, كان يعرف أنه ما يخسر شيء في المباراة فحاول أنه يكسر الإرسال منذ الدخول إلى المباراة. It's probably the just the the occasion you know playing on the center court but I wish him all the best I think he has a has a good future. يقول أن هذا اللاعب عنده مستقبل كبير لأنه عنده أسحة. Do you remember your very first match as a professional here in the Australian Open? Yes, I think it was 2006. Five? <laughs> um, I don't want to remember it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I lost to Safin uh, 0 1 and 2, probably. Uh, and he, he, he managed to one, win the tournament after two weeks. So, I mean, I lost to a champion, so there was uh, a consolation. Well, you obviously recovered from that and you become an incredible champion. Do you think it's harder for the young players these days to, to climb up? Do you think the game has changed even from when you started in 05? Uh, definitely. I mean, nowadays, I mean, you can see the players are being so committed, so professional in every single aspect of their life. And, uh, you know, I think especially the guys at the top, we're pushing each other. We are making each other better players, you know, making each other work more on the court. and. You know, it's that passion for the sport, the you know, the traveling and playing the big tournaments, and knowing just the, such a long history of uh, of tennis and how many legends of the sport won these tournaments, and you know, makes me makes me want to come back and and play more. So, hopefully, I performed well for you guys tonight, and uh, thanks for coming. You, uh, you certainly performed well. I heard your I heard your off season this year was slightly different. You went down to the Caribbean and uh, and had a, a little tournament where you played with some amateurs. What what was that like? And has that helped you get ready for this season? Because clearly something's working. <laughs> well, definitely. Um, I, I don't consider John McEnroe an amateur. I mean, he was playing at the tournament, but um, also Tommy Haas and players like that. But uh, no, it was a pro am tournament. And uh, each one of us professionals, uh, former and also active players, had uh, one amateur, and we played. We had a lot of fun. Uh, Sir Richard Branson owns the Necker Island, and he was generous to organize that tournament for the first time. And uh, you know, we had a lot of fun. Excuse me. You said. I hear a uh, noise. So uh, somebody. I, I mentioned Richard Branson. You like him? <laughs> no, he's he's great. He's a great tennis player. He lost in the finals. Um, to um, he lost in the finals to I think one of the brother Bryans. Uh, I mean, obviously they're the best, and no. they have to win every tournament they play on. Um, no. But we had so much fun; it was great, you know. And uh, hopefully, I can go back there next year. Okay, I'm, I have to end the interview. So congratulations! They've been doing this for like three minutes. I thought they meant ask more questions. They actually want us to stop, so we're going to leave. But congratulations! Well done. You played awesome tonight. Thank you, thank you. Folks, at the pleasure of program on this first Wednesday day of the championship, hope you've enjoyed your day and night here at the Australian Open, brought to you by Kia Motors and Association of Hardigan Jacobs Creek. And, of course, our friends at Rolex and ANZ Bank. Safe journey home, and we look forward to seeing you back as the championship continues.